Hello, good afternoon, my heart is. There we are, Scott O'Clear. Just for you, a very, very warm welcome to all of you. And uh, my goodness me, what can I say? It's uh, just over, I think it's uh, about two hours now since we heard of the death of His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip. Duke of Edinburgh, so there we are. But uh, I'm glad you could join us. I thought uh, I'd just come up. We would have done our afternoon, our afternoon live anyway this Friday afternoon. And um, I think that uh, you know it's important that we get together and share our thoughts and our ideas. So there we are. Thank you for your condolences. For Philip, very, very important. Scotty McClue watching here, XX. Uh, Dinky Doo, thank you for coming and joining us. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. But of course, if you haven't heard yet, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip passed away this morning at the age of 99. So a good innings and a man who would want his life to be celebrated rather than wept over. So there we are. And, uh, you know, let's not have horrible things detan. All right? Let's look upon all the pluses of this great man's great life. Any negative comments, and it might just have a lifetime ban. You know, I mean, that's a horrible way to be thinking at this time. So there we are. Sorry, Scotty, I find it difficult to have compassion for the man. So there, are, I bullied his wife into his title. No, I think he was well due his title. There's no doubt about that. So there we are. And uh, 99 years is, uh, is, is a good innings. You know, I think we'd all be glad if we got 99 years. But uh, I would urge um, some of the people who are negative anyway to have some compassion for this great man because he was quite, quite outstanding and a very, very tough childhood uh you know so there we go and um now uh but her majesty will be carrying on and she is a very very strong lady uh so quite fantastic there we go but i was very sorry to hear of uh, of what had happened this morning but at least he won't be suffering he won't be in any pain he won't be in any discomfort and definitely a life well lived so there we are. Um, so there, Scotty, I disagree. Well, no, you can disagree, but you need to think, have you had your head stuffed with nonsense and you're not looking at the big picture and seeing the, the man for what he was, um, a, a remarkable human being, you know, and I think that's what we should be looking about, you know. And these comments that you're saying, imagine if it was your own father or your own mother, would you be writing these comments about them? You know, that's the sort of thing. So there we are. Right. Uh, I shall ignore the idiots. There we are. And, uh, you know, he really was a remarkable man. Born in 1921, June 1921, the son of Prince Andrew of Greece. His grandfather uh, was shot uh, by the Greeks, and his father was very nearly shot. Unfortunately, we got Prince Philip out before anything happened to him. So there we are. Uh, fantastic. Rest in peace. That's what we say. Absolutely. Now then, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue's Friday afternoon blog or vlog, as we call it. I've always wondered what the difference is between, uh, you know, up the Royal Artillery, says Philip. Excellent. Thank you for that. Obviously, a British Army officer there. Uh, wonderful. I love you, says VJ. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, indeed. So uh, there we are, Lord Mountbatten's nephew. There we are, Lord Mountbatten's sister was Prince Philip's mother. So they are up the Royal Artillery, a lot of you are saying. Very good. We support the Royal Artillery. Uh, remember, if you're talking about the Irish Republican Army, that does not exist. That's long, 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 long gone. You're looking at maybe a hundred years since that started. Do you know what I mean? That sort of idea. So let's not have any sectarianism. Let's embrace Prince Philip for the wonderful man he was. So there we are. And let's big up our royal family at this time and support them. 
send out condolences because although his children are, uh, you know, really quite well on in life, you know, they've just lost their father. And sometimes I think it's, um, it's tougher losing your father at a great age than losing your father at a young age, you know, that sort of thing. So there we are. Anyway, there we are. Thank you for all your messages of condolences. He gave his heart and soul to this country and his wife and children and grandchildren. Adam, you are quite right. Wonderful. So there we are. And um, Philipson, what are you on about? Your day has already come. It came 23 years ago, 24 years ago, almost 25 years ago. Your day came, so you've had your day. So there we are. That's that. I've never seen so much nonsense. How did Prince Philip pass away? I, I don't know. I, I haven't found that out yet. All I do know is Scotty McClue was probably one of the first to the table with the news. And you'll see that on the TikTok video. Um, so there you are. So check out the TikTok video, guys. And um, come and join us. Now then. Can you all follow me? Very, very important. Uh, we're very, very big on viewers, but quite short on followers. There you are. So that would be fantastic. There you are. Now, Huazan, you're raving on about a united Ireland. Let's look at the big picture. Um, do you think Dublin is happy, the Chisok and the Doyle, quite happy to pick up the bills for Northern Ireland? to keep them in the standard to which they have become accustomed. Think about all these things. All right, so there we go. Uh, Japs, I think we'll get rid of you. You're a half-wit. No time for that. There we are. Sorry, guys, I've got a wee troll here that hasn't a clue what she's talking about. There we are. So she's gone. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll just get rid of any other trolls that come on at this time. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Um, now, if you've just joined us, a very good afternoon. You're uh, watching Scotty McClure. We're live on TikTok just for you. Dinky Doo, TikTok Live. And, of course, the news that Prince Philip has passed away this morning. Um, so that's what we're talking about. There you are. Now then, hold on to get rid of this Philip guy. Philip, I'm on your side, but I'm not having that. There we go. Excellent. Good. We'll just get rid of the idiots as they come on, guys. You can uh, you can tell me and we will uh, block them. I assume it was heart-related. So there we are. He was on and out with a heart issue. Poor family. Absolutely. You're beautiful. I love you, says Vijudi. Vijudi, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. So there we are. And uh, every day, I think, is um, joining in their condolences to Her Majesty the Queen, regardless of your race, your creed, your colour, your background, your country. Um, I think everybody loves the royal family, regardless. So there we go. And uh, who have we got here? God save our Queen. Absolutely fantastic. Now then, you're beautiful. I love you. I thank you all. <laughs> Yes. Rest in peace, Prince Philip, Rule Britannia. There we are. You look nice, Scotty McClue. Uh, thank you. No, just a, a mark of respect for uh, the husband of our head of state. So there we are. Now then, if you want to see some of the rubbish that some people put on here, they're very strange. XX Lemonade, lovely to have you with us, dinky do. So there we are. And... Uh, we wish Her Majesty a lot of strength. So there we are. Lovely. I'll just get rid of the idiots, guys. Don't worry. Guys, no point in uh, posting anything negative on here because you won't last. You'll be toast. R.I.P. Prince Philip, a great man. God bless the righteous and the good. Yes, indeed. Thank you, dear. Uh, R.I.P. would have been 100 in June. Yes, I know he's probably just about eight weeks short of his 100th birthday. Pretty good, though. Prince Philip was an amazing man, and he made a massive impact on our lives. Yes, he's been around all our lives. It's fantastic. Quite a remarkable man, a remarkable family, really. And, of course, he was the consort 
to Her Majesty the Queen, who is the uh, custodian and the curator of the crown, which is our symbol of authority. There we are. Excellent stuff. Uh, Scotty took the effort to dress respectably. Kudos, old fruit. I thank you. Thank you, Snicker. So there we are. Uh, how old are you? Uh, we don't do lemonade. Uh, I'm of an indeterminate age because I'm a time traveler, you see. So we don't know how old I am. There we go. Fantastic to have so many of you on here. Can you follow me, guys? Very, very important. That would be a help because we're uh, very, very big on viewers, but very short on followers. So please do follow me. I'm young in spirit, absolutely, yes, indeed. I probably look a little bit older because I'm a little bit shocked at the news. I think we were expecting it, but I was shocked at it. This is me here, guys. There we are. I'll have to get it the right way around for you. <clears throat> there we go. That should be better. Uh, Scotty, do you think Meghan and Harry will make it over for the funeral after the recent interview? Uh, it'll be very interesting to see. And he was their grandfather, and they did love him. You know, you're watching Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet. There we are, and we're live on TikTok at Scotty McClure, dinky do. Follow, like, share this now, enjoy all the videos, and tell 10 to tell 10. Right? Very, very important. So there you are. So, guys, can you uh, follow me and also... Can some of you, guys, uh, I'm not putting up with any comments about Prince Andrew. Absolutely nothing has ever been proven against Prince Andrew. So don't make these comments because you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, there we are. Now, um, do follow me, guys, as soon as you can. But I'd like somebody to go and like some of the videos. That would be tremendous. And share the video live as well. I think that's... Very important as well. There we are. I don't have my hat on today. Rule Britannia. Britannia rules the waves. There we are. Elizabeth, I think you're a wee bit dated with the emperors of India and Queen of Britannia stuff. You know, that's about to change. But if Scotland goes independent, we will be keeping the Queen. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Elizabeth is going to like the videos. Elizabeth, thank you. And please let me know when you have done and come back and join us. Guys, can everybody share the live video, please? And also, can you follow me? It's the followers. We have hundreds, literally hundreds of thousands of viewers. But the problem is the followers. Um, I don't understand it. How can you say, let's say we've had half a million views. How have I only got 8,000 followers? There we are. Are you having a bet in the Grand National? No, I don't bet. Uh, I don't gamble. Should I like every video too? Yes, please. All of you, if you can, uh, go and like the videos and then tell me when you have done. Share this live video and tell 10 to tell 10 that we are live right now. Very, very, very très important. There we are. If anybody wants to discuss Prince Philip's life, remember Scotty McClure is something of an expert on monarchy. And uh, I should probably be able to, to help out for you. There we are. Right, can I have some followers, please? Now, apparently, how you do it, because I think it's laziness. <coughs> RIP to Prince Philip. Thank you, Travis. Yes, indeed. Hi, I'm a kid. Dinky-doo kid. There we go. Um... Celtic Glasgow, you need to show more respect. How would you like if that was your father? So come on, think, 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 think. You know, if somebody put that up and said, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, you know, that sort of idea. Um, remember, the queen is your queen. So there we go. We don't hold with any sectarianism on here. Uh, follow me at Scotty McClure. Tap the plus sign on the top left, guys. All right? Very, very important. And then let me know if you've liked the videos. <coughs> so can we have a follow fest, please? A wee follow fest. Who have we got here? 
Um, thank you very much. Thank you so much for sharing your Scotty bro. Excellent. Yes, indeed. Now, what have we got? Uh, Celtic, you need to start thinking seriously about your head of state. You know, otherwise you will be left stateless. Holy smoke, shall you well today? Well, just mark of respect for Prince Philip's passing. There we go. Now, what do we got here? Everybody joining us, quite fantastic. Uh, yes, I thought I'd just pop up, as I say, out of respect, and we can have a chat, and I think that's rather good. Do you like the DJ, Alex Lester? Yes, wonderful man. Uh, what time were you up till Scotty? Uh, last night, so there we are. Um, I think I was working till about three. What a good bloke by Prince Philip. A shame. RIP Prince Philip. Yes, indeed. Thank you for that. Nice trim. There we are. And uh, you'll like my flag that we've put up for Prince Philip. Excellent stuff. There we go. Uh, it's your job, says Maya. My job is to inform, educate, and entertain. Somebody's just given me a placard. Thank you, Morgan. Very, 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 very generous and very kind of you. Good on you, Scotty, for the flag. Yes, he had a wonderful life. Well, he had a tough life, but a remarkable life. Being royal is a very, very tough gig. You know what I mean? When these idiots go on and go, um, oh, yes, uh, huh, I wish I had their life. You wouldn't swap your own for theirs, I shall tell you. 500 engagements a year. <coughs> Santa, can I have a new phone for Christmas? I've been a good girl. Yes, I need to get myself a new one as well. So there we are. Very smart, Scotty. Thank you, Lewis. As I say, it's out of respect for His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. There we are. Oh, you're looking good, Scotty. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. Now, please follow me as soon as you come on. Uh, thank you. Thank you for all your condolences for His Royal Highness Prince Philip. So there we are. Very sad news to hear of Prince Philip's passing indeed. Nice tribute to him from yourself, Scotty. Uh, well, we have to do our best. And I think probably you heard it here first. I think we were one of the earliest. There we are. Millie says, what were his pronouns? Well, his pronouns were his royal highness. There we go. What time did he pass? I think it was this morning. Yep, so absolutely. Um, there we are. Scotty McClure, a blast from the past. There you are, Anne, you'll see. Scotty McClure, a blast from the past. Great man, I met him three times briefly. He's very personable and very kind. Yes, Gemma Rally, he was. I know a lot of people who knew him. I'll give you five pounds for the tie and a tenner for the shot. Absolutely, Connor. There we go. OMG, it's Donald Trump. <laughs> what are you all like, for goodness sake? So there we are. I don't think I look a bit like Donald Trump. I don't have the orange hair. So there we are. Prince Philip's passed away, yes. I used to spend many nights listening to you on the radio. Must be 20 years. It will be. So there we are. Uh, so what have we got? Ethan, thank you so much for your generosity and your kindness. That goes for every single one of you. Thank you for your generosity and your kindness. Sending me all these beautiful, beautiful gifts. So there, are you going to have a drink for a mate? No, I don't drink alcohol, you see. But I'll say cheers and thank him for a wonderful life well lived. Favourite radio show, says Orinoco, yes. Scotty McClure, absolutely. George, thank you so much for your generosity and your lovely, lovely TikToks. Oh, my goodness. Sending them. Whoa, George, what are you doing? You'll bankrupt yourself. He sent me 25 TikToks. 20, 30. Stop, stop, George. George is sending me TikToks. Guys, can you see George? He sent me. He's sending almost... Oh, no, no, 50, 50 TikTok. Stop, George, stop. George, thank you very, very, very much for your kindness. So very much appreciated. There we are. Um, all right, lad, dinky-doo. So there we go. 
Um, what have we got? Maya, what are you talking about? Are you a half-wit? My mum has a crush on you. Oh, I thank you. So there we go. Um, are you a chav? I'm a chaver. There we are. Prince Philip has passed away. R.I.P. Prince Philip, fly high. Thank you, thank you. The legend that is Scott M. Scotty McClure used to listen to you. Rufus, yes. R.I.P. Prince Philip, thank you very much. Nice suit. Well, no, it's just out of respect. You see what I mean? So there we are. Guys, can you all follow me, please? I'm very short on followers and likes. There we are. We need some likes and some followers. Can we have a follow fest? There we go. Are we follow fest? Are we ready? Follow me at Scotty McClure. Tap the plus sign on the left. Plus Scotty McClure. Very, very important. Get yourselves on there, guys, and follow me. If everyone follows us, it would be a terrific help to the quality of the stream. There we are, and it would be a terrific help for me. Uh, Prince Philip's past RIP. Thank you very much for your condolences, guys. There we are. Excellent stuff. Now then. So can you follow me at Scotty McClue and tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Very much appreciated. If you've just joined us, then a very warm welcome. There is Prince Philip's son. There's Prince Philip's son. There's Scotty McClue. Okay. So just so that you know. Very, very important. OMG, Prince Philip's passed away. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Thank you, guys. There we are. Um, no, no, not at all, Fino. Yes, Prince Philip did so much for you and your country. You know, we need to have huge respect from Ireland for Prince Philip because he did so much to help your cause. There we are. Excellent. RIP, Prince Philip. There we go. Okay, very, very important, very important, guys. Welcome if you've just joined us. You're watching Scotty McClure. Can everybody follow me, please, as soon as you possibly can? There we are. And remember, you heard the news here first. Very, very, very important to let you know that. Also, can everybody like the videos, please, so that I can see on the likes here? Yes, but everybody following as soon as you can. If you go up to the top, then you'll see that. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing one or two idiots on here right enough, having said that. There we are. Guys, thank you so much for following. I'm just going to see what's happening here. There we are. If everybody follows Scotty McClure. Very, very, very important. Prince Philip has passed away, yes. Scotty McClure was one of the first to get the news to you this morning. If you check the video on TikTok, then you will know what's going on there. Wonderful. So there we are. Imagine being Scottish and having all this. Yes, absolutely very important. Every single Scot is a royalist. I've never, ever, ever met a Scot who is not a royalist. So there we are. And it's the same for most of Ireland as well. Um, there's somebody from Ireland saying, up the Royal Artillery. Um, I remember when, uh, when the Queen went to Ireland, the Irish people were just absolutely over the moon. So there you are. So it's just so that everybody knows that. Um, and everybody is a great supporter of the monarchy, as I say. I've never heard anybody say they're not. Guys, can you follow me, please, as soon as you can? That would be wonderful. I love the song, The Sea Shanty You Do. So there we are. Tremendous stuff. Thank you, guys. Everybody's saying, yes, you're right, Scotty. I support the monarchy. Excellent stuff. Well done. There we are. And I can see exactly where you're coming from as well. Scotland's had a monarch for 2,347 years. And I don't ever see that changing. There we are. Um, up the custard creams. You're amazing. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Uh, Morrow, thank you very much for your presence. Yes, indeed. What's with the suit? It's out of respect for Prince Philip's passing. Anyway, I think it's very important. Guys, can everybody follow me, please, and like all the videos? So there you are. Very, very, very important. 
We're very short on followers, but we have a huge number of viewers. What do you think of the riots in Belfast? I was thinking, Molly, should we bring back the birch for the youths that are rioting? Now, you saw pictures of a police van going along and brakes. You imagine if that police van stopped, out got very, very heavily armoured police, grabbed the vandals and gave them a good thrashing, a leathering. Do you see what I mean? And, uh, you know, taught them to respect the police. I wonder if that's what's missing. You know, from that point of view. Guys, thank you for your commiserations for Prince Philip. So there we are. Yes, absolutely. And uh, RIP Prince Philip. Yes, indeed. Thank you, guys. So there we are. Very, very important. You know, there's somebody asking my religion. Why would you? Why would you ask somebody religion? For goodness sake, nothing to do with it. The monarchy, the queen is the, the queen is your queen, regardless of your religion, your background, your color, your creed. You know. Uh, so there we are. I disagree with Scotty, but I do respect you. Not at all. Not at all. Absolutely, very, very important. So there you are. Uh, you never ask anybody their pronouns. I use my nouns. Naming words, Scotty McClure. That's the nouns. Right, guys, um, can we have a follow fest, please? Very, very, very important. That it's there. So you're watching. Get this down. Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet. We're live on TikTok. Dinky do, follow, like, and share. Enjoy all the videos and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Then, if you can follow me, sorry it's handwritten, but it was just somebody told me the other night how we do it. Morgano, thank you for these beautiful gifts. Tap the little plus sign at the top of your screen. So there we are. Now, what we don't do pronounce. There's a lot of people who are big monarchists coming on. So there we go. Now, what have we got here? Condolences to the Queen from Spain. Thank you, Alfonso. And, of course, your own beautiful monarchy are still there. So there we are. And uh, we loved having Lord Mountbatten over in Ireland on his holidays. I know you did because I heard from the inside. Scotty McClure is very well informed. And, of course... The murder of Lord Mountbatten split the uh, the movement straight down the middle. And, ha and I don't think it, it's ever recovered, you know. So there we are. Uh, no, we don't do pronouns pathetic because um, they're divisive. And we are inclusive on here. We're all together on here, you see. Can everybody follow me, please? Thank you. Um, what do we got here? The monarchy brings you money. I don't think you understand how it works. The monarchy brings in a fortune. It's virtually self-financing. So none of your taxes go to the monarchy. I can tell you that. I think it might cost you the same as a, a bag of crisps. That sort of idea. So there we are. I'm gutted. I was born in Dundee, and I live in Loughborough in Leicestershire. Gary, lovely to have you with us. Excellent. Yes, and guys, thank you for your wonderful wishes for Prince Philip. We can pass them on. Very, very much appreciated. And how much the royals are loved throughout the United Kingdom. You know, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible, you know. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Um... The monarchy are excellent. Thank you, Sabah. You're a legend, and so was Prince Philip. Thank you, Spencer. Very much appreciated. Up the royals, says Hala. So there we are. Wonderful. Now, uh, guys, if you're writing negative stuff, just imagine you are writing to your mum and dad. Okay? If you're writing anything naughty, think, would I write this to mum and dad and tell them I'd done it and posted it? on perhaps one of the biggest public forums in the world, Scotty McClure's TikTok Live. Yes, ask yourselves that, guys. Very, very important. So there we are. And I'm just wondering, uh, you know, about tonight, uh, who's this here? Sabad, 
You don't pay taxes, right? The monarchy are pivotal and vital to this country. Yes, very, very important. So there we are. Um, here's Fino Donohoe. I'm so sorry the big man's finally gone. Scotty, can you do a video on Bones and the Bones Fair Day? So there you are. You're a legend. Well, I think our Irish brethren across the sea are just realising how important the monarchy are to Ireland even to this day and how welcome they were made. It's quite fantastic. Uh, my mother and father... Um, are saying up the Royal Artillery. Yes, absolutely. I don't know if that was one of Prince Philip's regiments. How are they important? They are the custodians of the crown, the symbol of authority for the Western world. America has a flag. We have a crown. Where in Scotland are you from, lady? So there we are. Very important, Sabadi. Sabadi, remember you are very, very ignorant of how the world works, yeah? So that's how you're very lost. Very lost, absolutely. There we go. Uh, they don't do anything. So, buddy, 500 engagements a year, every single one of them. Prince Philip has just passed away. He was still working part-time. Her Majesty works full-time. What do you mean they don't do anything? The crown is the most important thing in the world. Yes, that's what keeps peace and prosperity. Sabadi, you don't know what you're talking about or you would never, ever say that. Yeah, and they bring in fortunes so that you can live in peace and prosperity. They bring you a sense of hope. These are all the facts. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. There we go. Now, what do we got here? Uh, I used to listen to you on the radio 30 years ago. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Wonderful. Um, people use Instagram to educate themselves nowadays. No, no. Well, we'll use, uh, we'll use TikTok at the moment. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people needing an education on here. I can tell you. There we go. Other countries run without paying taxes. Somebody, you don't pay taxes to the monarchy. They are self-financing. Do you understand? The Queen's office is financed from the Duchy of Lancaster. The heir to the throne's office is financed from the Duchy of Cornwall. Yeah. You don't pay anything. Okay. There we are. You have old-fashioned views. Well, just facts, Sabadee. I'm just giving you the facts. You know, very important. Come to Ireland for a straightener. I know Ireland inside out. I spend a lot of time in Ireland, and they make me so welcome. We don't pay taxes to the Queen, Miles. That's a myth. So there you go. Right, Scotty, uh, what have we got here? Condolences from France. Thank you very, very much. Very important. And uh, what age are you? We don't know, Tiny. I'm of an indeterminate age because I was knitted, you see, and I'm a time traveler. So there we go. Uh, so that's it. Uh, Declan, you sort these people out. You get your facts from Scotty McClure. Get your education on here, son. Uh, you can't say about the Irish... When you see an Irish, I don't like somebody. What are you talking about? I've never heard so much rubbish talked in all my life. You need to do a lot of learning, my girl. Uh, thoughts on the IRA? Well, there's no points gone long ago. Long, long ago. You might have one or two thugs parading about, but that's kind of it. Did you know Prince Philip has died? Yes, Wavo. Um, I think I was perhaps the first with the news. Check my TikTok videos. Guys, can we have a look at the um, at the following, please? Yes, we need some followers. And also, can we have some likes for the videos? Very, very important. I love Scottish people. Dinky doo. There we are. Sabadee, you could never, ever, ever scrap the monarchy. Do you see what I mean? It's apolitical. That would, that would be the crown. You never attack the crown. 
You're obviously a political person. The monarchy is not political at all. Do you see what I mean? Apolitical. So this, scrap the monarchy. Why would you give away your own country so you had nothing? Hmm? Come on, come on, somebody, get on with that. Think about it. There we are. Ireland's a superior country. Superior to what, Jonas? What what are you superior to? You know, do tell us. Are you superior to Northern Ireland? Are you superior to America? Are you superior to Russia? Are you superior to Scotland? Are you superior to Wales? Are you superior to England? What are you superior to? Why would you make a comment like Ireland's the superior country? I mean, I love it, you know, but I mean, it's a strange comment to make. There we are. Excellent stuff. Uh, you're looking excellent today. Thank you very much. Now, there we are. What have we got here? Fantastic. That's great. There we go. Now, I'm just having a wee look here. Uh, Sabbath is talking on. Sabbath, I think we'll just dump you because I've never seen so much rubbish talked in all my life. There we are. I know we'll leave you because otherwise you'll not get your education. Uh, racism doesn't exist in Ireland. We plant the potatoes and we pick them ourselves. So racism doesn't exist in Ireland. And yet, you're having a go at the English. I'm not sure how that works, but there we are. House of Lords and the monarchy are useless to somebody. No, House of Lords are worth their weight in gold because they keep the commons in check, okay? News flash. The monarchy, the place wouldn't run without it. Simple as that, somebody. There we go. What's the Royal Artillery do? The Royal Artillery are the regiment of gunners. Artillery just means guns, and everybody in Ireland uh, is involved with the Royal Artillery, I think. So, excellent stuff. Sabbaday, you're spamming now. We'll say bye bye to you. You're a dumpling. <laughs> we dafty. Right, there we go. Excellent stuff. Now, who have we got here? I love your accent. I thank you. The Irish and the English are the same race. Yes, they are, Samantha. You're quite right. Now, everybody came from Ireland. No problem at all. Uh, so there we are. What do we got here? Uh, suit because of Phil the Greek. <coughs> well, he was actually Phil the Dean. He didn't have any Greek blood in him at all. He was born in Corfu, but his parents were Danish. There we are. What about that? Uh, monarchy take taxes. No, Miles, they don't. Newsflash. There we are, R.I.P. Prince Philip. So um, the British are the second most racist in the world next to America. Don't think so, John. We don't have any racists on here. Uh, R.I.P. Prince Philip, you served your country. And as a Royal Marine, loyally, your duty is over. Requiescat in patchy. We salute you, sir. I would never be patriotic for my country. It's built on racism and colonization. What is your country, Millie? Which country are you talking about? There are four to choose from. Or you might be of another one throughout the world. So which country are you not being patriotic for? Do you like Aston Villa? I adore Aston Villa. <laughs> Brexit. Brexit, the very, very worst thing this country's did. A huge act of political self Harm. Thoughts on the riots in the north. Raymond, I was thinking, bring the birch back. Get these young vandals and give them a right good thrashing. And then when they go home and the mother says, what are you doing? I threw a brick at a police car. And they came out and gave us a leather. And the mother would say, well, quite right, you did wrong. There we are. The English have been trying to battle to Ali for ages. So there we are. No. No, nobody's bothered. When has anybody tried to take Ireland? You know, nobody is bothered. You know, as far as the English are concerned, Ireland's gone. 1922, you're on your Todd. Not a problem. There we are. So I don't know where you're getting that for, the English who want to take Ireland. Why would you want that? 
There you are. Uh, no, 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 never, ever, ever get rid of the monarchy. That would be madness. Shout from the Philippines. There we are. Uh, can we have a shout out for Lex and B? RIP Prince Philip says Jan. Good afternoon from South Africa. Welcome, guys, from South Africa. Now, can I beg you, please follow me as soon as you come on. We're very short of followers. It means tapping the little plus sign at the top of your page. If you can do that, I would appreciate it. Very short in followers. We have had hundreds of thousands, literally, of viewers. But for some reason, they're so lazy they don't go and tap the plus. Please do, I say. Uh, there's DND, scrap the monarchy. Why on earth would you do that? It brings us in a fortune. That's like you saying, give up your wages. There we are. Do you often go live? I do, yes, indeed. There's Talisker. You do realize people just laugh at you? Well, I hope so. Yes, that's right. That's why I gave up comedy. People were just laughing at me. <laughs> are you upset with the passing of Prince Philip? Um, not from his point of view. I'm glad he's out of pain. But uh, I'm sorry that it's the end of an era. I'm very sorry for Her Majesty the Queen and for his lovely family. Because I think when somebody's been around for that length of time, then it will be very harsh that they're no longer around, you know? So there we go. Uh, an independent Scotland, yes, Simon, but of course, we'd still be keeping the Queen. I've never yet met a Scot who doesn't uh, love the royal family. So there we go, and I speak for Scotland, you know? The young vandals are already thrashing them, though. So there we are. Is that what's going on, Joe? Well, I mean, they need to stop it. Do you know what I mean? Um, John, it means uh, up the Royal Artillery. There we are. You for independence. Yes, I think Scotland would do very well as an independent country, as long as they keep the monarchy. Uh, thoughts on Prince Philip's passing today? Sonny, I was one of the first to announce it, and you'll see it on my TikTok video. Absolutely. Please go and have a look. How can you encourage violence with violence? Well, we're getting the violence anyway, and it needs to stop. Do you see what I mean? So these youngsters need to learn respect for the police. You know, because the problem I see uh, with the police in Northern Ireland is that they can't do uh, they can't do wrong for doing right. You know what I mean? And they can't do right for doing wrong. It's, uh, you know, it's very difficult for them to win. But we're needing the Percy Sillito treatment. Sir Percy Sillito uh, got rid of the, the gangs in Glasgow in the 1930s. Uh, and I think maybe Ireland would benefit from that. Uh, so there we are. We kept Northern Ireland. No, no. The Irish people annexed the six counties because they didn't want to be in it. So there you are. So there's no keeping Northern Ireland. I mean, I'm quite sure at the moment if Dublin wanted to pick up the tab, uh, you know, there could be a conversation. Uh, everybody supports the monarchy, DND, except for idiots. If you really believe Prince Philip served our country like the rest of the men serving, yes, absolutely, Millie. And his war service was outstanding. Can you follow us as soon as you can? RIP Prince Philip. There we are. Why don't you leave if you don't like him? Absolutely, Nikhil. Good for you. There we are. Dinky do. Can you say hi? No, I can't, JG. Let's dump you for being a half wit. There we go. We trolls. Remember, guys, can I just explain to some of you dafties? I know you're used to watching junk, and I know you're used to going on and trolling lives. Right? We don't bother about any of that. But this is something different for you. So that's like you sort of spreading muck on your own chips. You know what I mean? There we are. This is for you. There we go. Give money to the people who need it. Well, they've all got it. That's what the For All family do. They bring in fortunes and it goes straight to the exchequer for helping the poor. Yes, so there you are. Hola from Spain. Milano, Scotty Maclu. Yes. So there we are. Don't you think the Queen may decline much faster? I hope not, Ben. She's a strong lady. 
So there we are. You're not giving money to the monarchy. You're taking money from the monarchy. Yeah, do you understand? The monarchy earns you money. Excellent stuff. Thank you for coming on here and educating people. Doing my best, ex-funk. So there we are. Simon, you could do better than that. I will stick your head up your backside. There we are. Half-wit. Simon the half-wit. Gone. There we are. Scotland would fail as an independent. Why do you say that? Of course it wouldn't. There we are. Scotland sends £75 billion to Westminster. Could you imagine if it hung on to it? So there we are. Fantastic. Lovely, 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 lovely. Rest in peace, Prince Philip. Absolutely. Thank you. From Northern Ireland, thank you very much. Thank you from Ireland. A lot of respect for Prince Philip in Ireland. Very much appreciated. So there we are. And uh, a tour to your system. Ah, yes. Guys, well done. There we are. Let's get rid of the bigots. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. What we need is the Irish people need to embrace the people of the North and vice versa. So there we are. That's what we're needing to get. So they're giving money to the poor, you see. Um, may he rest in peace. Absolutely. Thank you very much indeed. Very, very good to have you all on with us, guys. Well done. There we are. Yes, I agree. Tax the rich. There's no problem with that. Um, so that's what we've got there, you see. Wonderful. And remember that the bulk of the monarchy is our own national assets. That's what it's about. Guys, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. There we are. If you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, just out of respect for Prince Philip. There we are, having it. excellent stuff. Now then, well done. Lovely to have you with us. You could be in Harry Potter. Can I be a moderator? People are mocking Prince Philip's death. Well, these are just idiots that don't understand about life. There we are. I thought you were an independent supporter. Absolutely, Ali. And very much a monarchist like the rest of Scotland. You know, I mean, nobody wants independence unless the Queen's our head of state. What would be the point? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so there, I'm eating tuck biscuits. Oh, advertising, very nice. There we are. Who cares? Um, well, wait a minute, 350 million people usually watch something royal, you know, to 400 million. So I think a, a lot of people actually care. <laughs> Half wet, who cares? So there we are. Um, now, who have we got here? Dinky you do, guys? Um, trying to read this stuff. It's going so fast. Yes, he was from Denmark. Absolutely. Hi from Mexico. Lovely to have you, Scotty. Hello, Alfie. Fantastic. Just because you support the monarchy doesn't mean everyone has to stop saying they do. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, indeed. Um, so there we are. What do the royal family do in Ireland? Well, they've kept Ireland perfect for the Irish. You know what I mean? Put a lot of work into that. Scotland for the Union. Well, no, no, I think the Union's had it. I think the unions had it. Hi from East Lothian. I love it. I used to live there. Fantastic. Yes, indeed. Prince Philip is a fantastic guy. See? How wonderful. There we are. Yes, indeed. Um, remember, he the nine know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't. That's the difference. I've researched this over 50 years. Proper research. Monarchy. Leadership. Politics. Economics. World Affairs. Yes, you're talking to the man himself here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Can you please say hi to Ringo? What are your pronouns? We never, ever, ever ask pronouns, remember? It's very divisive. Uh, Prince Philip is a fantastic guy, says Bobby Andrews. Um, R.I.P. Prince Philip. Yes, indeed. Prince Philip was a great man. So there we are. Yes, indeed. Thank you for following, guys. Very, very important. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful, lovely, lovely me. You fly high and rest in peace. Rest in peace from Philip and God bless. Hello from Hungary. There we are. Watch your accent. I don't really have an accent. No, nothing biased. Very balanced. Everything is balanced in the way I study. The bias is coming from you. You're biased. 
What about that? Aha! There you are now, you see. Yeah, pronouns very, very divisive. Nobody should have to justify themselves on here. I can tell you that for nothing. Guys, um, can you go? Somebody go and check the rest in peace. Yes, absolutely. Rest in peace, Prince Philip. Yes, indeed. God bless you, says Jordan. Absolutely, sir. Uh, guys, can somebody volunteer to go and like all the videos? Uh, tell me when they're going to do it and come back when they've done it. All right. Rest in peace, His Royal Highness, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. It's actually the Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Very strange to think of life without him, and yet at nearly a hundred. You know what I mean? A few weeks short of a hundred. What's the royal protocol after Prince Philip passing? Well, he was a, such a lovely man, he didn't want any fuss. You know, I think that's the thing. Afternoon for the men's dinky doo. There where we never ever do pronouns, it's divisive. We are all together on here. We don't have racism, we don't have people being different, all that stuff. So there we are. Can I be a moderator? No, you're all right, Hannah. Although it would have helped, actually, this afternoon to get rid of the wee trolls. But uh, they're fine. Uh, it's a great week for the Irish. Yes, the Irish are big, big, big monarchists. So there you are. And, uh, you know, they will be very, very sorry about this because I watched very carefully when the Queen and Prince Philip went over to Ireland and they were made so welcome. You know, it was really, it was, uh, was it Mary Robinson that was the president at the time? It was quite outstanding. So there we are. Um, now, who have we got here? Uh, no, no, we never have pronouns. No pronouns. Heathen, don't be cheeky. All right, you don't cheek up. Uh, there we go. Why are people disrespectful towards each other? I don't understand it, Egyptian Queen. I think some of the people that come on to the lives are a little bit backward. And when they get educated, it was Mary McAleese, was it? Yes, that's it. Sorry, I was a big fan of Mary Robinson. Uh, I liked how it was. You're right. Let me just see. Mary McAleese, is that? Have I got that right, guys? There we are. Let's just see. Mary McAleese, is that right? Have I said the right one? So you've got the president. Mary McAleese, yes. Um, Inter, there's no need to be so cheeky. That's very, very rude, what you've put there. Very offensive. I think we'll dump you, you half-witted idiot. Right, Inter, your nan's gone by. Bye. There we are, half-wit. Right, that's that. Fantastic stuff. Big Irish will be as cheeky as I want to when you say what you said about that. No, not at all. No, no, you ask real people in Ireland and they are huge fans personally of the Queen you know, I mean Martin McGuinness was a huge fan, you know he was a huge fan, a lovely picture of them together so there we are and uh, so there we are uh, we don't silence opinions, no but we don't want cheek, that's the thing, we don't want cheek, so there we are, excellent stuff, yes it was a good life excellent, uh, wonderful stuff, uh now, my condolences, my prayers and thoughts are with the royal family. Everyone in Ireland liked to Queen Scotty, you're quite right. So there we are. James, your day came 25 years ago, so you can forget all that. Trolls of a sad and bitter life. These are people that know nothing about Ireland. McClue's a specialist on it. So there we are. Now... They need to stop the hate comments. Yes, I think you're quite right. Uh, now, have we got loads of followers out of it? I don't think these trolls are following properly, are they? Let's just see what's happened here. There we are. We need to get a few followers, guys. Yes, if you can follow, that'd be terrific. Everybody, have you followed? For instance, there's you, Cameron. Have you followed? Has everybody followed Scott McClure? Uh, Ireland has nothing to do with the royal family. Well, in fact, the Irish crown, I think, is still with the royal family. I would need to check that. So there we are.
absolutely very important. I mean, Ireland's a republic at the moment, you know, but that could change. So there we are. Yeah, that's a long time ago. You're talking about the black and tans. That's that's a hundred years ago. Newsflash, things move on. Absolutely. Are you a president? So there we go. Uh, I'm a present, a precedent. Uh, what do we got? Guys, can you all follow me? Let's have a follow fest, please. There we are. You have a wonderful Brian Blessed Vive. Do you remember talking about Queen Victoria with me? Yes, indeed. Her grandson. I think he was her great-grandson. Is that right? Or her great-great-grandson. There we are. Guys, can we have a follow fest, please? A crazy follow fest. Every single person watching, please follow right now. Okay. I'll go on a wee strike to we to we've all followed. <laughs> Let's have a follow fest. Everybody following, please. Anybody who's not following, get yourself away. I love the Queen, says Patrick. Yes, absolutely. A United Ireland. If you did have a United Ireland, would you um, accept the Queen as your head of state? Ah, you know, just a thought there. It's an interesting thought for discussion. You know, if you're going to unite Ireland, then the North might insist on having the Queen as the head of state of a United Ireland. Would that be a good idea? There we are. What do you think of the death of Prince Philip? Well, I sort of announced it very close afterwards, guys. So you'll see it there. Absolutely. Thoughts on Pakistan? We love Pakistan. We send you love. I was so sorry about the partition there. RIP, says Jake. So there you are. The Dial Erin would rule Ireland, but would they rule Ireland under the Queen? Would you have the state opening of the Dial? That sort of idea. Do you see what I mean? It opens up a much bigger discussion. Your thoughts on Cromwell? Dreadful, dreadful man. And no, no, the IRA aren't coming back because we don't want them. Nobody wants them. You ask the Irish people, see how popular they are there. Doom the stank, I say. Best, says DND. Do you think, so, DND, would you like to tell me the advantages of it? <laughs> There we go. The advantages of communism. Absolutely, Essex. As Essex said, we only want peace. We're not interested. So there we go. Ah, uh, that water is gorgeous. R.I.P. Prince Philip. Absolutely. Michael says he's a Tory. Are you a Tory, Michael? I've always wondered what a Tory is. It's a term I've heard, but I don't know anything about it. Uh, there we go. Now, right, tell us the advantages of communism. Come on, DND, spill. You'll never have peace with our counties. Well, you should do. Why would you never have peace? If you would change your attitude, you'd have peace a lot quicker. You need to start embracing people. It's a conservative. And what is a conservative? So there we go. We need to know. There we are. Do tell us. RIP Prince Philip. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Indeed. I think everybody is very sorry about it. But he was a good age, you know, and we have to think about that. What have we got? The king is dead. Long live the king. Northern Ireland would join the Republic. It's not the other way around. Well, I don't know, you see, Peter. You say that, but you don't know that, you know? So would that mean the Doyle moving to Belfast? You see what I mean? Would the Doyle move into, uh, would the Doyle move into Stormont? You know what I mean? Would they run the whole show from there? So there we go. Now, there's a guy saying down the IRA up the British. Again, XR, you're completely wrong. There's no such place as Britain apart from as a landmass. So there's, there's, there's no kind of IRA or British. The IRA is long, long, long dead. You know, there might be a few thugs 
like to use the term, you know, just to big themselves up, but no. The IRA went years ago, uh, years and years and years ago. And uh, the British, what you mean is up the Northern Irish. Yes, that would be more sensible, you know what I mean? Bonsoir de France, Amy Ecosse, oui, je suis Ecosse, je m'appelle Scotty Maclou. Bonsoir, bonsoir France, ça va, oui, ça va très bien, je regrette mais je ne parle pas, français très vite, si tu parles lentement, peut-être je comprends, oui, fantastic. Opinions and nationalism. At least the commies didn't steal the money. The commies? Why well, are you saying the Irish stole the money, RIP? There we are. Scrap the old-fashioned monarchy where you see, thanks to Prince Philip, the monarchy isn't old-fashioned. It's very trim and slim. And why would you scrap your own head of state? Are you mad? You know, are you bonkers? Do you want Scottish independence? Yes, James, I think Scottish independence would be excellent. But under the crown, of course, you know, it makes complete sense. You might split the parliaments, but you would never ever split the crowns. They joined in 1603. That's a Scottish institution. There we are. Do you like poetry? I love it. Um, Freddie says he thinks I'm very left wing. Yes, indeed. Up the Royal Artillery says Ethan. There we go. I do enjoy your take on things. It's quite refreshing, Emily, to get the truth, isn't it? And I think it's very good for uh, both people from Scotland, England, Ireland, Wales, and um, Northern Ireland to get the facts, because they're all a little bit, uh, you know, delusional. When's Prince Philip's funeral? I don't think it'll be a huge fancy affair, obviously for two reasons. One is COVID, but the other is I don't think he wanted that. Do you know what I mean? I remember my mother at my father's funeral. My father's funeral was a rather grand affair. And um, when we took him out of the church, which was absolutely packed, uh, it was a bucketing wet Friday night, 7 o'clock, and when we took him out of the church at uh, about 8.30 um, to the tune My Home, played on the Scottish fiddle from the balcony by one of his old friends, my mother said to me when we got back, I don't want all this. <laughs> it's interesting. There we are. So here we got the ultimate nationalist, a fascist. I don't think you know what a fascist is, Dwibbles. Go and read your book, son. Grow up. Up the Royal Artillery, they're all shouting. There we are. Art Beg or Lagavulin. R.I.P. Prince Philip. How do you feel about Welsh independence under the crown? Well, I'm wondering. Brexit has completely ruined Great Britain. The Brexiteers have betrayed and broken Britain. Fact. Okay? It's cost us £200 billion. Fact. Okay? So... What we could do is take this as an idea to scrap the whole United Kingdom, English independence, Northern Irish independence, um, Scottish independence, Welsh independence, all under the crown. Ireland, the South, is already independent, so there were, they could decide if they wanted to come under the crown, or if they wanted to stay as a republic. You know, these are all a conversation. Do you see what I'm saying? So it might be an idea to do that, but you would never, ever, ever scrap the crown DND, because that would just be madness. That would be like saying, I like to sing, but, um, you know, I'll stop breathing. Uh, there we go. I see, yes, very, very sad that Prince Philip has passed away. I agree with you. There we are, poor I see. I think he's rather upset. There we go, wonderful. Now, who have we got here? There's no such thing as the truth. Your content is good, though, Joe. There is very much such a thing as the truth. Right, I'll give you a quick example. If I said to you, Winston Churchill was a great prime minister. True or false? True or false? Okay, Winston Churchill was a great prime minister. 
True or false? Some might think it true. Some might think it not true. If I said to you, Winston Churchill is no longer living, that's true. All right, so there you go. So yes, there's very much a thing as the truth, Joe. Strange thing, are you a unionist? Now, where do you get a unionist from? I've just explained Scotland would do very well as an independent country. I mean, I'm not political at all. I'm apolitical, but I do like getting the truth to people. Yes, Prince Philip passed away today. So there we go. I wasn't saying I I, I explained Tories, sorry. Well, oh, Freddie, we, we don't, we're none the wiser. So there we are. You're none the wiser. DND, think you might as well leave. You're too stupid to be on here. <laughs> Gone. Okay, excellent stuff. Now, uh, what's your motto? My motto is... Always be yourself. So there we go. Oh, he's away. What am I doing? <laughs> I blocked a troll twice there. Fantastic. A united Ireland can't be ruled by the crown. That defeats the idea of a free island. How do you mean a free island? You're still free under the crown. That's like the people that came out of Europe hoping to be free. They just surrendered themselves to a bunch of hooray Henrys. You know what I'm saying? Working them from the back. Uh, no, uh, I don't know what you mean by a unionist. Uh, who have we got here? Scotty, why not come back on the radio? Yes, that would be good. You have interesting ideas, says Islan. Well, I'm progressive. Do you see what I mean? I want to move forward. I mean, the Irish are, we've seen it on here. Uh, in, in general, the Irish are very, very stuck. In, the, in their past. You know, they find it difficult to embrace each other. So there we are. And we need to start with that. You need to explain that whether you're a Protestant or a Catholic, you are the same religion. You're identical in your religion. There are uh, one or two denominational differences, and that's as far as it goes. And only a very, very devout practicing Christian going to Holy Mass or Divine Service would even know or understand these differences. So there you are, you see? Quite interesting, isn't it? Now, uh, European Union? No, DND. DND is as daft as a brush. Um, you're truly inept if you believe independence is better for Scotland. You're joking, James. What you need to understand, right? Listen to me. I'm not political, but I am economic, yes, and very switched on. And that's been acknowledged. Everybody knows, Scotty McGlue knows what he's talking about. So, we send £75 billion a year to Westminster. They send us back 30 Let's imagine we were independent. We didn't send any money to Westminster. We hung on to the £75 billion and we did up your town. Yeah? How about that? Would that not be nice? Eh? Would that not be a wee something for you? So there's nothing inept about me, James. There we are. What would William Wallace think of Unionist Scots? Um, well, we don't know. It's changed days. He might be for the Union. You just don't know. Uh, what have we got here? Great guy. Thank you very much, James. Uh, Sad news at the passing of Prince Philip. Thank you for your lovely, heartfelt tribute, Scotty. Not at all, Damien. A privilege. He was a wonderful man. So there we go. A united Ireland will reignite the troubles. I'm a Republican. Well, very interesting. So in other words, Kai, what you're saying is not everybody wants a united Ireland. Is that what you're telling me? Would that be fair? Fortnite or war zone? I think this place has been like a war zone this afternoon. Nice tie. Guys, can you all follow me, please? We're very short on followers. Why, I don't know. And we need some more likes. Can everybody go on and like the video? Very, very important. What's the most important reason for keeping the crown? 
It's our symbol of authority. Yeah, everything's there. Same as America's got the stars and stripes. So that's like saying to Joe Biden, I think we'll maybe scrap the stars and stripes, Joe. Are you okay for that? Do you see what I'm saying? It's, it's our history. Scotland's had a monarchy for 2,347 years. <laughs> oh, now that's quite a good record so there we are guys let's have a follow fest please seriously everybody watching follow me now because it's not fair that you're watching and that you haven't followed because you're just not thinking so let's have some followers please how do you feel about the passing of Prince Philip I'm very very sorry that he's gone but I'm very glad that he's at peace so I'm sorry for those that are left, because the Queen and the family will take it tough. You mean the crown's like a trademark? Well, no, the crown is everything, really. It's our asset. It's our biggest asset. Guys, more followers, please. Let's have a follow fest. Come on. As soon as you come on. Dinky doo. Well, Scotty McClure. What's your opinion on the LGBTQ? We well, see, I wouldn't even worry about that because we're all inclusive on here. So nobody has to justify what they are. Guys, could we have some following, please? Should Mondays be the new day of rest? Your yes, Sunday and Monday. <laughs> we should denounce the royals. Why, Jambo? That would be sheer madness that would be that would be suicide there we are a shout out to alice in the car wash in our drossen yes i can josie fit like says fraser fit like thanks very much foo's your doos foo you chaffing a war there did you hear rowie for your breakfast today wonderful stuff there we are any followers guys please thank you thank you thank you thank you do you think scrapping the crown would create too much kiss? Well, what would be the point in doing it? That's like saying, what if we maybe take our heart and lungs out of our bodies just to see what it feels like? <laughs> Do you like Meghan and Harry? Um, I went off them a bit doing that interview. That was poor. That was very poor. I know they made a few quid, but that was poor. Uh, well, wait a minute. Here's, here's, here's somebody that doesn't know the stuff. Economically speaking, what does the Crown contribute? They take 70 million a year and give nothing. Wrong, right? They bring in 2 billion a year, right? 2 billion. So you take 70 million from 2 billion and the rest goes straight into the exchequer to finance you. All right. So economically speaking, John Sador, you don't know what you're talking about. So don't give me economically speaking because you're not able to speak economically. Freudian slip when you mean some and another. Uh, so there we are. Thoughts on Prince Andrew? Well, he's getting a bad press. Nothing's been proved in any way, shape, or form. So there we are. But uh, he has chosen or been advised just to take a little bit of a back seat just now until everything sorts itself out and shakes down. Has everybody followed us, please, guys? Share the live video. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you're watching Scotty McClure and that we're live on TikTok just for you, dinky do. There we are. Tremendous stuff. Now, I'm just checking to see if anybody's liked any of the videos. Would somebody volunteer to go and like the videos? R.I.P. Prince Philip. Thank you very much. Very, very kind of you. Very much appreciated. How long will we be going live for? Well, um, I, I wondered if I might phone up my barber and see if I could book a haircut. But we'll see. Um, do you think Meghan and Harry should have put a hold of the interview? Big stuff. They should never have done that. I mean, I know they probably got a few quid, but, you know, there's, there's limits. You know, I would rather, I would never, ever, ever, ever. That family have been so good to Meghan and Harry. And it makes you look at Meghan and think, what on earth, you know, is she playing at? You know, 
you've got a, a you know a minor actress joins the royal family, and uh, then the next thing is she's calling the shots, you know, or thinking she is. Uh, she's not, of course. You know, we can put that one down. I mean, if somebody said, you know, Meghan or the Queen, who do you think, you know, let's just settle down. London brings more tourists than Paris. Yes, £210 billion worth of tourism pre-lockdown. And most of that will be bring the royal family. McKnight, you don't know what you're talking about. You mustn't judge everybody by yourself. There we are, poor old McKnight. There we are. Lost the plot. <laughs> so there we are. Uh, bet you won't let Harry home for the funeral. Well, I don't know. The Queen is a remarkable, remarkable lady. Really quite a, a wonderful human being. So there we are. Who have we got here? Do you see Meghan Markle is unworthy of a royal title? Well, she hasn't exactly, you know, been, been earning it of late, has she? Let's have it straight. There we go. I'll ask my cousin to follow. She's very political. Well, Stella, why would you do that? I'm apolitical. I don't do politics. You know what I'm saying? Uh, will Harry come back for the funeral? If so, will it play out? It might happen a little bit like uh, Edward VIII coming over for his mother's funeral. Do you see what I mean? He might just turn up, go to the funeral, and then disappear again. Uh, Prince Charles, I'm a bit sceptical, but I do support the monarchy. Prince Charles is a very, very smart man. Let me show you a wee picture. Prince Charles... Scotty McClue, you know, there's a thought. There we go. Do you think the Queen will advocate? Well, it wouldn't be advocate, it would abdicate. But of course she won't know. The Queen's in it for the long haul. Personally, as a Republican, I don't think a united Ireland would be a good idea. Well, because, Monarchan, what's happened is people have got used to their way of life. And I'm not sure that the people of Northern Ireland, the six counties, would feel comfortable wearing the tricolour. And I'm not sure that the people of Ireland would feel comfortable wearing a Union flag, even although it's got Ireland on it, especially if the blue background and white diagonal had gone. Do you see what I'm saying? That sort of idea. So I can see where you're coming from. There we are. Uh, the Queen and Prince Philip were lovely people, says Off. Up the Royal Artillery, says Cam. Cam, dinky-doo, and love to Ireland, by the way. McClure's a huge fan of Ireland. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I mean, would Ireland want to go back under the crown? You know, this is what you're you're talking about here. You see what I mean? Scotty, you know what's going on at the minute? The Loyalists are destroying Northern Ireland. Well, when you say the Loyalists, you see, it's, it's all very, very strange. That's the crown and the Bible. That's going back to King William. Now, King William was actually a very, very, very bad man. You know, and not a particularly good king, although he was the first constitutional king. I am back again for this morning's live, dinky do. Maya, where are you watching from? A shout out, says everybody. Yes, indeed. Can I have some followers, please, guys? We're very, very short of followers. But thank you to the beautiful people who have followed. There we are. And can I have some likes for the videos? Who, who would volunteer to go and like the videos and tell me if they've gone to go? A very intelligent man, Prince Philip. Well, yes, he was educated at Gordonston School, which is probably the finest school in the world. You know, so there we are. I think you're the best TikToker. I thank you. So there we go. Dinky-doo, how are you?
Prince Suzanne is a very admirable person, very, very hard-working lady. Happy 50th birthday to me. Yes, I will. I want to be a volunteer. The Loyalists and Unionists are rioting. This may cause peace to be lost. So are you telling me that the Nationalists are not doing any rioting? Because if these are so-called Loyalists, why are they throwing bricks at police cars? Is that not a bit strange? Do you know what I mean? Would they not have respect for the crown? And are the police not also servants of the crown? Do you think the crown will go to Charles? Yes, if he's around when Her Majesty passes. What's the history behind the Scottish not liking the English? I don't think, well, obviously in the old days, if you go back 800 years, they used to fight. If you go back 500 years, they used to fight. If you go back 300 years, they used to fight. Is that right? Yes, yes, 300 years they used to fight. Um, so just under, if you go back 250 years, they used to fight. So there was fighting going on, but, but it's not the English. The English are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. The Scottish aren't too chuffed with the way Westminster has sucked the economic life out of Scotland. That's your problem. The Republicans are also rioting, says my dog. Yes, my dog. My dog died at 15. Mine died at 14 and a half. Hey, bro, what scheme are you fae, by the way? Well, Gain said, I'm a scheme jumper, you see. So there we go. Shout out to my pal Lewis, dinky do. My friends are making jokes about Philip's death. I think that's because they don't know how to handle the grief, Medinas. So therefore they do that. Sometimes when there is a tragedy, people make empty jokes because they don't know what to say. You know, they don't understand how to pay respects. Yes, that sort of stuff. So don't worry too much because nobody would take it seriously and Prince Philip certainly wouldn't. They are rioting at the police because they think some members of Sinn Féin should be prosecuted. Or was this for the COVID thing, for going to the funeral? Yeah, but you see, there's underlying things if somebody's thinking as small as that, then there's something underlying. Now, by all means, the police probably should, uh, you know, consider what the law is there and what would be the best thing to do. But certainly rioting is not a way ahead because all you're doing is it's a bit like wrecking your own house. You know what I mean? Huh, so much drink millers that I wrecked the house. The joiners coming today is going to cost 600 quid. Well done. You know, it's that sort of thinking. You know, why are Irish people fighting Irish people? So there we are. And we need to start respecting the police. Otherwise, society breaks down. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's very difficult for the police to win. If the police did start giving a thrashing to the wee ones that are throwing bricks at the vans, you know, would people... I mean, I know they probably can't. It's probably against the law now, but, you know, it's a thought. Um, what happens if a royal turns out to be gay and wants to marry? Well, you would just have to front up, you know, and say that, uh, that you were gay, but you'd still want to marry and have children, the same as a gay person would. There have been stacks of gay royals in the past. Do you know what I mean? In all royal families, in all families, in all the aristocracy, in all the ordinary people. It's all the same. People are people. Humans are humans. So there you are, you know, and they will go around. Um, it's not the English they don't like. It's Westminster. Alan Mack, you're such a wise man. So much wisdom from you. Right, how are we doing for light skies? Has anybody done any light king? Uh, no, nobody's done any liking. Right. Can somebody volunteer to go and like some of the videos so I can see if the figures are working? How would you describe your place in British politics? Um, well, I'm completely apolitical, so I don't have a place in British politics. Uh, so there we go. Hello from Ireland. Hello, Ireland. I liked all your vids. 
Maya, did you, let me see, did you do that this afternoon? No, no, we're still short on likes, guys. Can somebody go and do some liking, please? And we're short on followers for the live. Can everybody follow Scott McLeod? Tap the plus sign at the top left. I'll watch for following here. The people that hate on the royal family need to understand how intelligent they are. Absolutely, you stand. You're right. Makes sense, of course. Get a life. Get the SNP out of a ballot. Why would you want to do that, Russian boy? You know, the most successful party who have done the most for Scotland ever. And you want them out? Mm. Are you the kind of person that throws away your fish and chips on a Friday? That sort of idea. How mad would that be? What's your opinion on Cyprus? Well, Cyprus knows about division, doesn't it? Are you a Tory or a Lib Dem? Well, I'm not political at all, Orbis. Um, plus, I don't quite understand what you mean by a Tory or a Lib Dem. See, I don't know what these parties stand for anymore because nobody tells you. You just see wee argy-bargy bits going on, but they don't stand up and say, this is what we stand for, you know? Apparently there's meant to be a big riot tonight. Well, if you've got that information, the police will no doubt have it, and I hope they put a stop to it. But there will be a bit of water cannon coming out, I think. It's madness. Coming from NI here, they genuinely will just smash the police cars because they hate coppers. Now, Connor, why do they hate coppers? You know, because I would imagine a lot of them have got coppers for dads. Long live Scotty McClure, the true king of Great Britain. Apollo, you'll say such lovely things, but no, no, I am not worthy of that, but it is very kind of you. What's your opinion on Cyprus? Well, as I say, it's very divided, isn't it, really? What side are you on? I'm not on any side. I am for truth and for wisdom and for justice and for honour and for a good life for all and for respect. I don't take sides. I explain to the other side what they are doing wrong. Yes, do you see what I mean? I liked all your videos. Thank you, Maya. Where's your bonnet? Well, I've got it off this afternoon as you would take your hat off when somebody dies. I've got it off as a mark of respect for uh, the Prince Philip, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. How would you consider the Crown's influence on British politics? It doesn't really influence British politics at all, although it is Her Majesty's government, Her Majesty's opposition. But, uh, you know, it's to do with big respect. When they were forcing through Brexit, they were getting very near to crossing the line, right? And the Queen was put in a very difficult position. And that's, you know, she wouldn't have forgotten that. <laughs> she won't have forgotten that. I can tell you that. But no, the, the Crown doesn't influence British politics at all. That's what makes Britain, well, not Britain, the United Kingdom and the four countries within it very unique. Yes, absolutely. They don't want to be called Irish. Who doesn't, Fergal? There we are. Let's go, mate. Get them out. Start of an all-Ireland movement. No. Udiddle. You don't know what the Chusach, the Tishach, and the Doyle would think about picking up the bills for Northern Ireland. So there's no get them out. Them are you. Do you understand? A bit like when people were mocking the EU after we'd left. It's our EU. We built it up over 50 years of peace and prosperity. We begged and begged on our bended knees to join it in 68, because we were bust. And we'll be bust again if we're not careful. So, are you sure that the Dial and the Taoiseach would welcome going to Stormont and, uh, you know, sharing power with Belfast and Dublin? What's your thoughts on the Prince dying today? I'm so sorry that he's gone because he was a wonderful man. But I'm very glad that he's not in pain and that he's at peace. And he would appreciate if we celebrated his life. So there we are. Now, what have we got here? 
What's your opinion on the British terrorizing Ireland for hundreds of years? Why were you thinking if I tell you something, it would, uh, you know, it wouldn't have happened? Is that what you're saying? Um, I think by and large, if you really read your history very carefully, there was no terrorizing, right? There were periods, the black and tans, they were bad news. No time for that. But, um, you know, the British, well, you're saying the British. I think you're meaning the English, yeah? Because remember that the English were in Ireland long before the Union. And I know that Errol Fitzwilliam was sent back from Ireland for being too pro-Catholic. So there's a lot of very kindly people over the years who appreciated Ireland. And I think a lot of them have still got homes in Ireland. There we are. Scotty, most people are shocked when they find out how bad I am as an electrician. Never trust an electrician with no eyebrows. That's why I say they started this stuff. We were quiet until they destroyed the place. I don't know what you're referring to, guys. Uh, I'd like to be a volunteer. No problem. Having a parliament 800 miles away. No wonder Westminster's out of touch with Scotland. Well, it's only 500 miles away, I do have to say. So there we are. So I think the terrorizing, remember, we've got to check the exact history. You want people like myself who do not have any bias and can tell you the truth. But you'll have to accept the truth. When I tell the truth on here, you get some people, I, I, I like that, it's going to happen. And you think, whoa, I'm just giving you the facts, telling you the truth. Everyone who's in the four nations of the UK, have blood ties for the indigenous peoples. Yes, indeed. And the English are indigenous, although the English are mainly French, Spanish, German, uh, Irish, African, Indian. You know what I mean? It's, it's that sort of thing. So all this terrorizing hasn't really happened to the extent you think it has. Um. How have they done the most ever for Scotland? We're in the gutter, Scotty. And it, well, you obviously don't remember when we were in the gutter. Do you see what I'm saying? You obviously don't remember Scotland in the 50s and the 60s. You don't remember the start of the last century, 1903, 1912. You've obviously never seen the back, uh, the back yards of really, really, really poor housing, where there was disease and illness, polio, tuberculosis, all these things. The EU didn't rip us off at all, you know, half wit. How did the prince die, Scotty? I haven't got all the facts yet, sir, but as soon as I do, I'll try and let you know. All I can say is Scotty McClue was one of the first out with the story of his passing, and you can check it. I announced it at 12.15 today. Uh, in fact, I announced it before the palace had got the official uh, the official note on the gates. Uh, the English are at fault for the famine. They were, yes, there was faults, but you've got to put it in context. The communication was very, very poor. Yeah, and had they just mixed the brand of potato, the blight would have been cancelled. Uh, Charles Trevelyan was in charge of giving out food during the famine. He tried to wipe out the Irish. Well, Connor, this is where I'm very strong on uh, the fields of Athenry. Yes, you stole Trevelyan's con, so the young might see them on. Now the prison ship lies waiting in the bay. Don't. Don't. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Bring back the British Empire so someday. There's a fair bit of um, there's a fair bit of things. No bias. A British flag behind him. Uh, that is for Prince Philip. That's the Royal Yacht Club. 
All right. So don't be just going, ah, British flag band. That's been put there intentionally just before the broadcast as a mark of respect to His Royal Highness's passing. Okay. There's no bias in it. Yeah. It's a yacht club. Um, what do you think about the death of His Royal Highness? I'm very sorry, but as I say, he's, uh, he's not in pain. You know, and... Uh, that was his time. God chose his time. Guys, can I have some followers, please? You support the royal family. Everybody supports the royal family. Yes, only an idiot would not support the royal family. They are the custodians and curators of the crown. Scotty for the next Scottish Prime Minister. How did the British not terrorise Ireland year upon year of unlawful internment? Yeah, but this is way, way, I'm going back to 1560s. Right? I can take you back to the 1500s. And as I say, Lord Fitzwilliam was sent back for being far too kind. Yes, indeed. Joe Pegg, thank you so much for your gifts. There we go. Yes, indeed. And you see, a lot of what you're describing there, internment and that, that's because people were causing trouble. You know what I mean? So there's two ways of looking at it. There's ways of going about it. When you've been blinded by bias, very, very difficult to work with that. That's why I've spent my life ensuring I'm not, ensuring I know exactly what's going on. I can tell you almost every day of de Valera's life. All right, P, Prince Philip, bless him. So there was Prince Philip Scottish. Um was Prince Philip Scottish. He was educated in Scotland at Gordonston School, which is perhaps the finest school in the world. So there you are. He was the Duke of Edinburgh. He was a very, very understanding of Scotland. He was actually Danish. So there you are. That's it. Are you from the Royal Air Force? Uh, no, I'm not from the Royal Air Force, Craig. But I can tell you anything you need to know about it. The Royal family are more German than English. No, the Queen's 50% Scots. Her mother was 100% Scots. So I don't think that's more German than English. That's Scottish. Okay, there we go. Now, what do we got here? God save the Queen. Absolutely. Uh, look, okay, you said God. Now I know you are a fool. Right. So you don't understand God. Now I know you are a fool. <laughs> Shame the British never got there in the French Revolution. Yes, now France has suffered dreadfully. Since they got rid of their monarchy, France has just been a mess. Interesting, isn't it? And the UK is, is fine. Um, now then, what have we got here? You're blinded by nationalism. Now, how can I be blinded by nationalism and be a monarchist and advocate independence? What do you mean by nationalism? What country are you talking about? There are four in the United Kingdom. Am I blinded by Irish nationalism? By English nationalism? By Northern Irish nationalism? By Scottish nationalism? By Welsh nationalism? Which nationalism... Am I, in your opinion, blinded by? The truth is, I'm not blinded at all. I see the big picture. But I think you are very blinkered and myopic. All right. They're also symbolic of colonialism. No. Every country has had an empire and colonized the world. Right? Every country. So, Spain, Portugal, France. Germany, Ireland, Africa, India, right? All that sort of stuff. The royals aren't symbolic of any of that. There was a royal family at the time. But our royal family are not symbolic of any of that. The Queen has voluntarily got 53 countries that want her as their head of state and are in the Commonwealth. What do you think about the attacks on the police in Northern Ireland? I think it's shocking, appallingly dreadful, and it should stop right away. 
Guys, can we um, have some followers for Scotty McClue, please? I mean, this is dreadful. You know, we're sitting with really literally hundreds of thousands of viewers and you can't bring your finger up to the top left-hand corner and tap the plus. Look. Look. Why would you not follow the top TikTok talk show live? Get following, please. Hello. Hello, Parker. Dinky do. Guys, can I have followers, please? Thank you. I'll be able to see if you're following or not. Let's see. Uh, is he, who said he's Greek? He was Greek and Danish. That's correct. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Who have we got here? I know Prince Philip died. Yes, absolutely. That's why I'm wearing my morning dress. There we are. Will you play the squeeze box? Shall we play the squeeze box? Yep. If you all follow me, I'll play the squeeze box. Right? So if everybody follows me, I shall give your tune on the squeeze box. Can we have everybody following, please? Thank you very much. Morning dress. Yes, I'm in morning dress. Morning, morning dress. Can everybody follow us, please, and I shall uh, play you the squeeze box. All right? We'll finish up with that. There's somebody asking, what's a squeeze box? <laughs> Imagine asking what a squeeze box is. Oh, I think we've got one here. What's a squeeze box? Ha! Huh? There's a squeeze box. All right. All right, yo. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll give you a tune. But you need to follow me, guys. I need to get uh, a couple of hundred followers right now. And then I'll give you the squeeze box. An accordion. That's right. Don't break your back. I know we don't want that again. There we are. That's an accordion. Well, it's actually a button key melodion. Believe it or not. So there we are. Can I have followers, please, guys? And then I'll give you a tune on the button key melodion. There we are. Fat Frank, you're an idiot, by the way. Hi, from the Philippines. We love it. Dinky doo. Right, are we ready? Here we go. Guys, more followers, please. Can you follow me as soon as you come on? Please go up to the top left-hand corner and click follow. Okay, okay. Excellent stuff. Bongar, you're, you're, you're needing help. <laughs> Guys, can I have some followers, please? I've got the squeeze box ready. So there we are. I'm just waiting for some followers. Everybody follow. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm a very wee man. I'm only six foot and 18 stone. There we are. Guys, thank you for following. That's brilliant. Any more followers, please? Follow as soon as you come on, guys. Thank you, the lads. Appreciate it. Any more followers? The flag's the Royal Yacht Club. It's for Prince Philip. Very respectful, Scotty. R.I.P. to the Prince. Guys, followers, please. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Another dozen followers, and off we go with the tune. Are we ready? Thank you. Right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Did you like that? Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Is not wearing his bonnet out of a mark of respect for Prince Philip quite right? I took it off today, so there we are. Thanks for following, guys. You're beautiful people. I'm going to push off now. And this has been outstanding being with you. Thank you very much for sharing. There we go. Wonderful. And we'll have a catch up later. Many people are watching this right now. Well, I think right now, maybe, I don't know, several thousand, I would imagine. There we are. Bye-bye, everybody. Take great care of yourselves. Fantastic. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we to thein, au revoir, and a cheerio. Thank you, beautiful people. Lovely being with you. Thank you for your lovely and respectful comments. The wee trolls find their idiots. Never, ever spare a thought for them. They do not know what they are talking about. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. To every single one of you, take great care of your dear selves. Lovely talking and discussing and debating with you. And, of course, your thoughts, please, to Her Majesty the Queen and the beautiful royal family on the death of His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, a national hero. We give thanks for his life, and we hope that he will rest in peace and rise in glory. Thank you very much. Good afternoon.